Today, we are going to start a new series. We are going to build a mobile application using Flutter and Dart. It will be the FinTech Hub similar to the one we are building with Angular. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe our channel, turn on the notifications so you know about the next episodes, and give us thumbs up and share the video with your friends. everyone and welcome in the first lesson of our Flutter course. In this course we are going to build the frontend for the mobile application, the similar one to the application we are building in Angular 9 course. If you didn't join our Angular course, here is the link so you can check it out. For this we are going to use our Golang backend, so if you would like to build it, check out the link. It will be here. Today, we will be building the login form and setting up the application. So, let's start! Okay, so we are not going to go through all these uh, installation things. I will leave you the link to the official Flutter documentation so you can check out how you can install Flutter on your machine. I already have it installed. I'm inside the folder I would like to start my project. And for this project, I'm going to use Xcode as my simulator and I'm testing on iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so let's start by opening a simulator using the open a simulator command in our console. Uh, but keep in mind, it's in case of Xcode. When the simulator will be open, you can select the prefer iOS device if you are using uh, Xcode. And when you have it ready, we can start creating our new Flutter project. To create a new project, let's use Flutter Create and the name of the project. I will call mine Fintech App Dev. Okay, it will take a second. Now let's open the other window and let's go to the folder of our newly created application. And inside that folder, let's, let's use flutter run command to start the application. When it will be started, you should see it in your simulator. It might take a second. Okay, this demo app is working. So let's open the code. I'm using the Visual Studio code. Of course, I installed the plugin for Dart and Flutter. And let's start by cleaning our main.dart file. So uh, let's open it. It's inside the lib folder. And lib folder is our folder for all the files we need. Okay, let's go to the main.dart and let's clean it up a little bit. So let's clean the title, the ten, and let's change this home for text because we don't need anything what's below that. Here you can also change the color from blue to, for example, purple or something different. Okay, the first thing we are going to do is to create our welcome screen. And for this purpose, let's create a new folder where we will keep our uh, screens. Let's call it screens. Uh, of course, it needs to be inside the lib folder. And when that's ready, let's create a welcome folder inside and inside our welcome folder we can create welcome.dart file and inside this file let's start by uh, importing the material dart package and let's start by defining a welcome stateful widget this screen will have a state 
So we'll keep some information inside here. And for creating the state, we will use create state method. These names with underline means that uh, the value is private, which means it's used only in uh, the one class. Okay, and below that, let's create the class welcome state, which will extend our state. And inside that class, we can build our widget. So here we would like to create like uh, all this not changeable part which will be visible for our user at the beginning and inside of this we will create the login form and register form which will be displayed conditionally. So now we are creating something like a container for both of those forms. So uh, let's start by defining the widget and we will return as an element scaffold as it's one of the default elements of the flutter and let's set the background color here I'll make it purple Okay, inside this element, let's add a center as a body. And our center will have a child container. Now let's set some margin and let's set it to add insets all for 20. After that, let's set the color to white. And now we would like to define the height of this element. And to make it like real and uh, adjust it to the device, let's use the screen size. Let's take it from the media query with the method of. And by the context, we will take the size. And now we can define the height of the element using screen size height and let's make it for the 60% and after that let's define child which will be padding in our case so let's define some padding let's make it 18 and the child let's set it to the text right now because we didn't uh, manage to create our login form yet. So to have anything, let's leave the text with login form. Okay, let's save that. And we need to, so we need to import it to our main.dart file. And we need to change our home to the welcome. Okay, now we can check the result. And we are checking the result by pressing R like reload in our console. And we have some bug here. Oh yeah, we have the missing semicolon, it has to be at the end all the time. Okay, so now you should see something like that. And it means that we have our component, but we still don't have the login form. And now we are going to create another folder for our widgets. Because our login form is not a screen, let's go to lips and create the widgets folder. And inside that folder, let's create the login.dart file. Inside that file, let's start by importing the material dart. And let's create a stateless widget. Let's call the class login. And inside this widget, we are going to define four finals. One for username field, one for password field, one for login button and one for switch button. It's kind of a variables in dart. 
and we will use text form field for our fields. And we will define decoration uh, where we will put label text and also validator. Now it will be just simple checking if the value is there, if the field is not empty, but later we will work on it and improve it a little bit. But this will take part in the second lesson. We can copy paste it because it will be really really similar, just let's change it for password field and the password as a label text. And now we are going to create the button. Uh, so for the login button I will use raise the button and I will set the color, text color on pressed but now without any function inside and the child which will be the text component with uh, text login and style font size to 20. Okay, and let's define the last button, the switch button. And here I will use the flat button, which will have on pressed, empty for now, text color and child text. And this button will be used to switch from login form to register form. Cool. When it's ready, we need to take our puzzles and make it a one form inside the return statement. So we will return the column and we will set some values to align it to the center. So cross A6 alignment and main A6 alignment, both to the center. And then we can pass children. Uh, in case of column, uh, column can have multiple children, so it's an array of children. And now, we would like to add the image. And to be able to use images in the Flutter, we need to implement them inside our... inside our pubspec.yarm file. Okay, so first let's create the size box inside our login return statement which will be like our uh, container for the image and then we have to create a new folder inside the root folder and call it assets or images i will call it assets and there you have to put your image i will call the mine logo.png and then you have to go to the pubspec.yam file and then you need to find a commented assets world. Then please uncomment it and below that pass the path for your image that you would like to use. When you will save the file you will realize that uh, our ID or code editor does something and it's like allows us to import this image. And then we can go back and use the path inside our image.asset. Okay, then let's pass the box size for the space with H20. Then let's add our username field. Then let's copy paste the size box. And then password field. Then size box again and login button. And size box again, but with 10 right now. And the last element will be the sweet button. Great, it works now. So
so we need to import it into our welcome.dart. So let's go and let's import it as a Flutter package. That's pretty easy, I would say. And here instead this text we can pass the login. Great. Are you curious how it looks? That's the time when we can check it out. So here's what you should see. We have logo, we have two fields, username, password. Our keyboard is shown. We have the login button and sign up button. So everything looks pretty cool, but what we would like to do now is to add some interactivity to our sign up button. And to do that, we are going to use the state inside our welcome.dart file. So, uh, inside the class welcome state, let's define the boolean value login and let's set it to true. Every time when the login will be true, we will display the login and when it will be false, for now we will display the text with uh, any information that registration form will be here and in the next lessons we will create the registration form which will be displayed there. It's like a conditional statement similar to the one we are using in the JavaScript. And now we need any way to change the value of login uh, of login value. So we will pass to our login uh, widget the function that will set the state of login to false or true depending on the current state. So let's pass it inside our login and now we need to go to login.dart and use it somehow. So let's go to class login extend stateless widget and below that let's define the login with our function. Then let's define the final with login callback. And at the end of the file, we need to define one more line of code. Type def login callback is a void function. So it's kind of uh, defining the type of our callback. And the last thing we have to do is to assign it to our unpressed property of switch button. Great, we are ready to test it. And voila, it works! In the next lessons we are going to create an API call and perform the login action. Then we will build our registration form. Thanks for watching! Congratulations! You've just built your first screen in Flutter. How did you like it? Leave the answer in the comments. And if you like it, remember about thumbs up and remember to subscribe our channel and turning the notifications so you know about the second lesson of this course. I hope to hear your feedback and see you in the next video.